What drew me to this movie was um, the words of Miss Jojo Moyes. Uh, I got sent the book actually before I got sent the script because my agent loved it so much and um, just kind of wanted to get me to understand the essence of the of the role before reading the script. But I was hooked on maybe page one because I've never, up until now, I've never had the opportunity to play a character that is so close to myself. Alarmingly, like alarmingly so. Even my own wardrobe at this stage is starting to blend. Who like, oh, it's a great costume. I'm like, yeah, it's mine. Her whole kind of outlook on life has very much been based by her family dynamic, which is her being the kind of laugh a minute, but you don't worry about Lou, she'll be fine. She'll stay in the village, she'll, be, she'll get married, she'll have kids, she'll die there, it'll be great. And then along comes a uh, work opportunity that um, happens when she gets fired from her gorgeous place of work. And she meets someone called Will Trainer. He is a quadriplegic. She has zero qualifications zero experience and so she learns on the job and she learns a bit more than just how to care for someone who's disabled she learns that the potential that people keep telling her she has she does have and uh she happens to fall in love on the way the essence that lou introduces will to to a man who has apparently been everywhere and seen everything and done it all is she brings the exact opposite. She brings an innocence and a sincerity at looking at the world that has escaped Will up until this point. And it's only in his condition that he's forced to see the genuine light that can be found in life that Lou takes for granted. And whilst Will had maybe taken his life for granted up until that point, he now realizes and sees the, um, the kind of the essence of what one might want to live for that is arguably deeper and richer than the monetary value that he had placed on his life prior to meeting her. He's an absolute dreamboat. He's just the easiest person to work with, gives so much. And it's, it's wonderful when you've got a project like this where it really is our story. So we had so much time rehearsing with Thea and um, before we even started filming, the three of us had this rapport that was just so easy. And then add to that the best crew anyone could ever ask for. And then every other cast member just keeps getting better. Truly, it's shocking that this is Thea Sharrick's first proper movie. You'd never, you would never, ever, ever know. And I think that that is just a testimony to her intelligence and her integrity and her work ethic as simply a director dealing with cast, because that's my personal experience, obviously, um, which the, that kind of one-on-one -on -one, um, time that you get in a rehearsal room for theatre is everything, to me it's everything. And it's so rare to find a director who is so invested in the cast, and she really, really, really is.